So here, first you need to color it in, then move forward, and then move down. Hello guys! Welcome back to our YouTube channel! programming. We are actually doing coding in our computer class now. So as you can see, I've already answered the questions here, but I'll tell you the instructions first so you'll understand. Sometimes when you are coding in groups, someone will make an error that will affect everyone. Somebody has already written programs for the images below, but each one has a mistake. Figure out what the programs are supposed to look like, and circle the error in each one. Then drop the correct symbol in the box beneath. So as you can see, these are the arrows and fill and color. So this one is called the fill and color, and this one is move one square down, move one square up, and so one square backward, and move one square forward. So as you can see, um, there are boxes below these, which are the boxes we need to correct all the answers. But there's only one mistake, so we only need to correct like one arrow. Find out the mistake. Yeah. Okay, let's see. So I'll explain what we should do. It's a extra instruct if the instruction wasn't so clear enough. So as you can see there are an X in this box. So this is where you need to do the fill in color. But you also need to do the fill in color in each each box. So you don't really need to color these white boxes, um, they're just for decorations, I think? I don't, I'm not really the sure starting point? Oh yeah, it's for the starting point. Starting point of the program. So here, it, the X in the box, you need to color it in. So there. Next, you need to move one square forward, and then move one one square down. You can't really see the arrow because I I put the arrow in the black box like here. And then you have to color it in. So this actually seems a bit hard but it actually is very easy. So yeah. You need to color it in and then move one square forward. So and then Move one square forward and then you need to color it in, but this time I circled the mistake here because that's what the instruction told me to. I circled the mistake and made the correct answer in the box. You have to, um, so as you can see, you have to color in the box before um, moving on. So, and then um, you need to move one square forward again, move up. And then color. See, easy. So now we'll be doing the other assignments. So erase. But I'll erase it clear more clear than bigger. Okay. So next, this is another assignment. Number two. Yeah, number two. What's the mistake for number two? Find out. This is the mistake for number two. You'll find out why later. So first, you need to color it in and then move one square forward. And then move another square forward and then color it in. So these don't need to be separate. You, these don't need to be separate. And yeah, make sure they're not separate so you'll, get, you'll not get the wrong answer. You'll, um, you can also get the arrow inside the box and fill in the color. And next we move once. And next we need to move one square forward again and move one square down. And then color it in. See?
next you have to like this is the where the mistake was caused so you don't need to move forward you have to like move down because if you move forward again it will already be out of the box so you need to move one square down not out of the box because it's not supposed to be like that. Then move another square down and then color it in. Simple. Next is number three. So I'll just do the same that I did before. So this one is only with three blocks, so it's going to be a little difficult. So here, first you need to color it in. Then move forward, and then move down. Then this is where the mistake was caused. You need to move another square down, and then color it in. Then move forward, and move up, then color it in. See? Okay, next is the last one, number four. So here, as you can see, this one's a little bit different. This time the X is, the background is white and the X is black. So this time you don't need to color it in. It's not filled with color. Yeah, yeah. this time you don't need to color it in. The starting point is not filled with color, is that what you mean? Yeah. Okay. You gotta put like an arrow in the star so you'll understand. It cannot be clearly seen, but I think it can be visible still because the arrow. Yeah. Okay, next go. Next, um, well, you have to go. You have to color it in, I guess. Mm -hmm. Just right, filled in. Go down, then it's filled in. Yeah. Right. Okay. Oh wait, we aren't supposed to put the arrow in the box. Sorry. We have to put the arrow in the box here, and then color it in. Then move forward, then color it in. Move down, color it in. Move forward, color it in. Move forward, and then color it in. Easy. So that will be all. So that will be all for today, guys. Bye. Bye.